Uh, you're at the Splash and Color booth at CAJ, and uh, I'd like to show you a few products today. One of them is the modeling cream, the primary elements. So the modeling cream uh, in purple here. I uh, will mix a little bit of the uh, primary elements powder in there. So if you'll just mix it right up, that will allow you to basically take um, something that was white or kind of a plain color and uh, add a little bit of color to it such that it gets uh, nice and uh, mic it up. So um, then you're going to take a stencil. You like that one? Or? Okay. And then uh, put it on the bottom of the spatula. Nope, kind of like, there you go. Maybe just a touch more. All right, we'll start at the top of the card. Go over it kind of smoothly. You need more product. Get a little more, more on your spatula. There you go. And then just smooth, one smooth motion. Because when you go back and forth sometimes, it'll kind of push a little bit back up the, uh, under the stencil. There you go. And so this is a fast drying modeling cream. Uh, it's, it's not, uh, you know, too liquidy. So when you're happy with that, then you can just put your spatula down and then just carefully uh, lift that right off and you'll see uh, what the modeling cream has done for you. For your, wait, put your spatula down so you can have two hands just in case you need it. There you go. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? I'll take that one. Okay. And then um, I'm going to give you a dryer and you can dry it for just a bit. It doesn't hurt it, you know, to dry it as long as you don't get it too terribly hot. Thank you. You want to do one? Modeling paste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it dries. It dries pretty quickly. So, all right. Is there a way we know that it's dry? Or um, if you hit it for a few seconds, there it's probably okay now. You think? Yeah, it just takes a few seconds. If people think that you have to heat it up a little bit longer, um, when you take the heat off and it cools for a second, just touch it. You can tell. So just touch it now and see if it should be okay. And so then you can uh, just paint it. One of these colors of luminar. Are, are you familiar with um, the H2Os? Yeah. Okay. So they're all watered up. If you need one that's not watered up, I've got some more water here I can spray on there. Okay. You can even take that over there. Watch it that way. There you go. And so that'll let you to uh, cover it uh, more fully or not as much if you want to add just a touch of water. It's totally up to you. So. Then you can add uh, layers over layers of that if, if you like. Add a little bit of purple. Now if you use a, another color, be sure to clean your brush between the colors so that it won't, you know, infect you. You're okay. Sorry. It never, it never happened. But you know what I <laughs> <laughs> It's fun, so you get to go on, you forget, so. That's beautiful. Very nice. So hit it with a little bit of heat, and you want to you can, Yeah, you just leave it in there. You can even leave that on the table if you want, since the craft mat is there. No problem. Yeah, it's just sometimes if you lift it up, it'll dry. Yeah. I know, I should want you to burn your feet. I don't want you to burn your feet. You're probably not as accident prone as me, but sometimes things get burned. Yes, go right in. I believe there's some of the back. There was. So this is a great technique you can use on uh, your cards, scrapbook yeah. layouts, and art journals, everything, anything you know that you want to, and it'll um, that modeling paste will stick to anything. It doesn't have to be paper. So um, this is a little card that says what uh, products that we use. So if you want to, you can stick this on the back of your card, and then if you want to uh, reproduce it with your with your students, then you'll know exactly what you need. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you guys get a catalog?